Hello everybody, I'm Blazer Rebecca, and welcome back to Ace Academy. Uh, we are, we had a movie night with family and then Saturday, and we decided to do studying with Yuna. So, and uh, there was a kind of a conundrum, <laughs> but now we're done. She breathes a sigh of relief. I'm glad we were able to get that finished. Now we don't have to worry about it for the rest of the week. Wait, really? Just like that? Yeah. We'd been working for hours and it was getting pretty late. Yuna is already packing up her laptop so I can pick m so I pick mine up too. So she then layers the remaining reference books in her arms. I'll go ahead and return these. Do you need help with that? No thanks. I'll just be a minute. Okay. She smiles reassuringly before she leaves. I tidy up the room while she takes care of the books and meet her outside of the building. Well, I better head to the bus stop. I'll go with you. Oh, you don't have to. Aw. I drove here, so I don't mind. Besides, it's getting kind of late, and who knows how long the bus will be. She nods and smiles in appreciation. The bus shelter is empty when we arrive, and as expected, the bus is nowhere to be found. We got a lot done today. You're very easy to work with. I hope so. Thanks. For a moment, I thought you were ready to bail on me. She glances curiously at me. When was that? When we found the case study. Oh. <laughs> yeah. She shifts slightly. I thought about it. I've never done anything like that before. Now it was my turn to look confused. You've never borrowed a book? No, I've never borrowed a book without permission. Oh. It wasn't really without permission. We totally broke the rules. I don't know if I'd go that far. We did. You're not supposed to use a book that's on the return cart. It's not done being processed. Well, yeah, but that's just a minor thing. It's like when you forget to clean up your train in the cafeteria. She shares blankly at me. Have you ever forgotten to clean up your tray? Of course not. You're supposed to clean up after yourself. Oh boy. Okay, then it's like... Oh, for God's sake, why the choices? That seems like a major kind of thing. Taking more than one after dinner meant... I don't know. T I don't know, this one? When a store offers free samples, then you wait for a while before coming back again, so the person hanging out for samples doesn't recognize you. But what about the people who haven't already received a sample? Uh, what about them? If I take them, they won't have any. True, that's actually a true point. They usually have a lot, lot, a lot that they give away. Okay, how about... This one? When you go to the bank or anywhere with pens out in the open, and you take one of the pens after using it. But that's... stealing! Well, sometimes some people don't... Uh, I'm not even gonna... Usually it's by accident. You don't realize you've taken it until too late. Accident or not, it's still taking something that doesn't belong to you. Uh, how about... When your restaurant has a bowl of mints or candy for the customers to take after a meal, you take more than one? She wrinkles a brow. I don't believe that's a custom in Japan. Okay, yeah. Oh, it must be an American thing then. Do you do all of these things? I hope not. No? She stares at me with wide eyes. But that's breaking the rules. They're more like guidelines anyway. Uh I've never broken the rules. Not even once? It would lead to utter chaos if everyone ignored the rules and did what they wanted. Kinda like this bus, right? Huh? Well, the schedule said it was supposed to be here about a half an hour ago, but it's late. Oh. Yeah, they're kinda breaking the rules as well. She looks disappointed. I was hoping the bus issue would resolve itself before I had to go home. Well, apparently that's not the case. Doesn't seem like it's coming. Can anyone pick you up? She say shakes her head. My family is out of town this weekend. It's fine. I take the bus all the time. I suppose, but... 
I don't know. It's just I don't know where she lives, so I don't know if I should offer her a ride because I don't know where she lives. I don't know. I don't know what I should. No, wait. Save there. I don't know. I really don't know what choice to make here. What do I do? Uh, like, I don't know. I don't know where she lives, so it's like, how can I offer her a ride? I just stay with her longer. Well, I'll wait with you a little while longer. Hopefully I'll show up. She brightens up. You don't have to do that, but thanks. It's always nice to have company. It's like, it's like, I don't know the location of where her home is, and so it's like, how can I offer her a ride? The bus, another half an hour, the bus still doesn't show up. God damn it, bus service! What are you doing? I guess offer, I guess we have no other choice, because going home would be rude. Let's offer her a ride. I can take you home. She smiles but shakes her head. I don't want to cause any trouble for you. I don't mind waiting. It's fine, you just... It's no trouble at all. We ride the same bus line, so you're on my route home. That's very kind of you, but you don't have to worry about me. I'm used to waiting for the bus. I know, but it's getting late, and if I let you, left you here alone, I'd be worried you'd never go home safely. Her cheeks tinge pink and she looks away, a small smile playing on her lips. You'd be worried about me? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> exactly! This game used to say a lot of the same thing of the way exactly I'm saying. She looks back at me, a false smile on her face. Well, it will get dark soon, and I wouldn't want you to worry. I grin at her. Come on, let's go pick up my bike. She returns my smile and with an even brighter smile. Okay, thanks. Aww. I think that's the right choice. When we reach my bike, Yuna's eyes widen in appreciation. You have a beautiful ride. I can't help myself from feeling a warmth of pride. Thanks, I brought her back from the stage. She goes everywhere with me. I hop on my bike and pat the seat behind me. She carefully climbs on. Are you ready? Um... You don't seem like you're ready. What is it? What am I supposed to hold on to? Oh. Well, uh, well you're supposed to hold on to me? What? <laughs> well, what did you expect? What's wrong? Um, this was a bad idea. I, I should go wait for the bus. <laughs> what? I feel her squirm behind me. Um, help her. Wait up! Uh! What happened? Wait. What's with her? She just shines off the bike. Her cheeks are as pink as her Thank hair. you for the offer. What? Are you sure you don't want to run? Wait, what happened? What? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't. That you. Okay. You, uh, what? Uh. Hel uh, help her. Before she comes off the bike, I reach back, grab her hands, and wrap her arms around my waist. You know, let's have a small gas. See, this isn't so bad, right? Um. R right. Look, I don't know what happened. Like, I don't want her to just be by herself. I can feel the warmth of Yuna against me and the softness of her chest. Okay, yeah, that's descriptive. I try not to think, but please don't think about it. Her grip tightens around my waist as we continue down the freeway. Yuna diligently directs me towards her house. The seemingly blends to a blur of color as we drive by. After a few minutes, Yuna's directions sound more confident and there's a tinge of excitement in her voice. Her grip relaxes slightly and I'm acutely aware of every time she presses close to me to speak. I feel her hands slip away for a moment. I'm assumed to push the hair out of her eyes. And her chest... Yes. <laughs> That's not... You okay? Yes. Sorry. I just love sunsets. And the view right now is breathtaking. Oh! I quickly glance toward the sun as it hovers over the horizon, reflecting a trail of golden fire in the glittering waves of the ocean. This is quite lovely. You definitely don't see sunsets like these in New York City. I can get used to this. Are you liking it in Isokaze so far? Isokaze? Yeah, I haven't seen much of outside of Ace. You should go to the park. It's so beautiful, especially in spring when the cherry blossoms bloom. I used to go there all the time and play on the statues. You'll learn a lot about the town's culture and history there too. 
Although I haven't been there since... a while, so I'm not sure if it's changed at all. Hmm. Maybe you can come with me and show me. She pauses. Uh, sure. After all, Isokaze is a pretty special place. <laughs> yeah, I'm beginning to see that. She leans close to me, but isn't saying anything more. Before long, we arrive at her house. She slips off the bike and waits for me to do the same. As I walk to her to her front door, she turns to me. I don't anticipate her stopping and almost trip into her, but catch myself just in time. Still, I hear a slight gasp when she notices how close we are to each other. She suddenly becomes shy and takes a small, spe st small step back. Save. Thanks for taking me home. I had a nice time today. Me too. Maybe we can hang out again? Sure. And do something besides study. <laughs> she laughs. I'd like that. Have a good night. Get home safely, okay? I will. Talk to you later. She turns towards her door and while I go back to my bike. As I switch on the engine, I see her turn around. She gives me a brief wave before heading inside, and I wave back before heading home. As I walk into the room, I'm assaulted by the sound of laughter. Seated in the living room is Nikki and two other girls. They glance up at me, at me as I enter. Nikki greets me with a wide grin and waves me over, while the two girls begin whispering to each other. <laughs> Something tells me the other characters that, like, other characters will be making friends with will be just silhouettes. Hey, you're back! Where did you go? I'm out with Yuna to work on our project. Uh, seriously? Y you did homework? On a Saturday? Do it now than never. Yeah? Right. I'm sure it had nothing to do with seeing a cute girl. Mm-hmm. Nikki's friends suddenly seem to be on alert. We really did do homework. In fact, we finished the project. You're telling me that you were alone with a cute girl for hours and all you did was homework? Yes. Um, yeah? She sighs. <sighs> You're hopeless. Yeah, well, at least I'm actually getting my work done. Nikki's friends glance at each other and giggle. What are you guys doing? Playing draw it. What? What's that? The first girl speaks before Nikki can. It's a fun game! You pick a word from the pile and draw it and people guess what it is. Sounds easy enough. Join us! Then we can play in teams of two! Sure, I'm sure we will, but I will see to that in the next part. See ya!